Hey guys, welcome to another Wentworth Quickfire video. In this video, I am going to be answering questions on Wentworth Season 4. And I am thoroughly enjoying this little video series, so let me know in the comments if you are as well. And guys, grab your cup of coffees, let's get started. My favourite character in season 4 is finally changing and it is indeed Boomer. I loved Boomer in season 4. She brought some fantastic comedy moments but it was also fantastic watching her friendship with Maxine. It broke my heart when Boomer thought that Maxine was going to die and she broke down and yeah, Boomer was just incredible. My favourite new character of season 4 has to be Ali Novak. Ali just burst onto our screens and she completely turned B's life upside down, but in a good way. I just felt that Ali was a breath of fresh air. We got to see so many different sides to Ali as well. I mean, for example, we saw her romantic side, falling in love with B. We also saw her tough side when she ended up like hitting Kaz in the face. And we also saw some funny sides. She was just, in my opinion, a fantastic addition to the show. Favourite storyline of season 4 is hands down B and Ali's romance. It was all building up all the way through season 4. I loved the moment when they kissed for the very first time and we went on a real love journey with these two. Of course I know it ended in absolute tragedy but yeah I don't think there is another storyline in season 4 that can top this one. It's one of Wentworth's all time great greatest love stories. Ooh, my favourite episode. I'm gonna go with, I think it's episode 7. This is the episode where B and Ali kiss for the very first time after B admits that she actually cares about Ali. There are also some really touching moments which I've already touched on, you know, in regards to Boomer and Maxine when Maxine tells Boomer that she isn't going to have the cancer treatment but then Boomer, she breaks down and she manages to convince Maxine to actually, you know, to go ahead with the treatment. Also, this is the episode where Doreen and the women, they all end up pressing the panic button against B's orders. And we have that whole vote thing for Top Dog in the laundry, which I just love. Sonia Stevens has arrived at this point, and yeah, I just felt like there was a lot going on in this episode, and there's just so many great moments. Favourite season 4 moment is definitely the moment where the women, they do that naked protest in the yard. What do we want? The right to fuck. When do we want it? Now. It's absolutely hilarious. And it does end up turning into like this huge brawl between the women and the officers. There's like a moment where like, you know, a naked woman or a half naked woman and an officer are rolling around on the floor. Such a memorable moment. This is a really easy one for me. The moment where Boomer is about to have her conjugal visit and she ends up bouncing around the unit in slow motion saying that she's gonna get fucked and then they play that song one way or another in the background. I just love it. It makes me laugh and smile every single time. Whenever I am feeling down or unmotivated for the day, I just put on this clip and it instantly just gives me that boost. Oh god, well this is also another easy one, unfortunately, because it is the death of B. Smith. Oh my god, I am still not over it guys. It was such a cruel moment when we lost B after everything that this character went through and then for the writers of Wentworth to save Ali at the very last minute. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm glad that Ali survived in the end, but you know, the reason why B did what she did in that moment with John Ferguson was because she wanted to be with Ali. So, oh God, it's one of the most saddest moments in the history of Wentworth. Sticking with B for this one, B Smith is definitely the standout performer for me. In season 4, I don't think any of us were expecting to see B go down this really dark path of self-harm. Danielle played this just perfectly. Everything from her self-harm storyline to her falling in love storyline and then losing her top dog status, 
yeah, B definitely deserves this title for season four. I'm gonna have to say it, but it is Kaz Proctor. When season four first aired, I did not like Kaz. I just couldn't warm to her. Now I know Ferguson was uh, playing and pulling the strings for Kaz for at least the first eight episodes, I think it was, but I just, I just didn't like Kaz at all. I mean, I do grow to love Kaz as the seasons go on, but in season four, sorry Kaz, I did not like you one little bit. Ooh, well, oh God, we're back to the death of B. Smith now. Like I said, none of us were expecting the writers of Wentworth to kill off their main character. I would go as far to say it's one of the most shocking television moments ever. Even after season four, like the fans, like certain people around the world, they were convinced that B had somehow survived and gone into witness protection. Like they, I can understand it. They were trying to hold on to something because people just did not want to believe that B was dead. So yeah, B's death in the final episode is definitely my most shocking moment. Ooh, well, this is actually an easy one because sometimes I've really got to think about this question, but I would have let B live. Look, I know there was going to be some sort of showdown between B and Joan, but I definitely would have made the stabbings that B received not so lethal. And just to give the fans some realistic hope that B could have survived that and returned at some point in season five. As it stands, you know, we literally see B pass away on the screen, but what I would have done differently is just make it sort of like hanging on a cliffhanger, just so that B could have come back, you know? Because they made it pretty hard for B to ever come back, especially in that moment where Joan, she twists the screwdriver up into B's organs. There was just no coming back from that. So if I could change anything, it would be that moment. Okay then guys, well that's the end of the season 4 went with quickfire rounds. Let me know in the comments box below what you thought of, you know, this video and my thoughts on season 4 and if you agree with me or not. And if there are any questions that you would like to see me include for the season 5 quickfire rounds then please let me know in the comments box below and I'll see if I can include them in the next video. Okay then guys, well thank you all for watching today's video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, stay safe out there, and I'll see you all again very, very soon.